Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'd like to welcome everyone to the June 4th, 2019 meeting of the Pearl L. Crawford Memorial Library Board of Trustees. And as is customary, we'll begin our meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the first order of business looks like the introduction of our new recording. How would you describe that? Describe? Cleric. Cleric, right. Uh, those of you who have been frequent town hall, a familiar face certainly, Carol Savard. And Carol has kindly offered her services <laughs> to fill in. Um, how many hats is it that you wear? Around this will here? be five. This five. will be five? <laughs> you must get a special bonus if you hit double digits and you're well on your way. Oh, no. <laughs> Close to it. All right. Well, thank you and welcome, Carol. Thank you. Um, hopefully everyone has received a copy of the April 23rd meeting minutes and we'll take a few seconds to, well, a few minutes, if you will, to review those. and hopefully there's a copy of the minutes from our last meeting available for you there. Mm -hmm. We're just going through those right now. We'll go on your signal, I think, Harrison. Is it? Okay. Harrison, did you know Carol Savard? Sitting to your left. Hi. Carol nice to meet is you. now uh, recording the minutes of the meetings. Okay. And this is Harrison from Harrison Records. Harrison is our fifth member in attendance. And you know Car Kathy Carmignoni? Yes. She ducked in earlier. Okay, good. Just everyone's acquainted. Um, Everyone a chance to peruse the minutes for the uh, April 23rd meeting? Any questions, discussion? Entertain a motion to approve? A motion to approve the minutes of April 20th. Okay, motion made to approve 23rd. the minutes of April 23rd, 2019. Second? Second. Second. <laughs> motion made and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye, unanimous. I would note that uh, reference on here, uh, I believe in terms of the election coming up on the 10th, 
those of you who may be reelected, you want to make sure that you're sworn in before the meeting, the next meeting, so that you will able, you know, fully able to participate in that. All righty. The, the director's report. Everyone copies available or copy with you? Anyone need a copy? Do you need a copy of the director's report? Uh, yeah. We have to pass them around the horn. <laughs> Here, why don't you take mine and I'll short circuit that a little bit. Yeah. Oh, thank you. And, oh, I think there's more here than I managed to print out. Okay, Drusilla? Uh, yeah. Um, so, uh, it, this, this is a very, it looks very short, but April was actually quite a busy month with uh, things like interviews for uh, youth services candidates and I spent more time arguing with the computers. <laughs> um, I am very pleased to announce that our new uh, youth services librarian is Lita Carroll. She will begin on June 17th. Um, she's been a school media specialist and children's librarian um, due to the elimination of her school media position. She's been a classroom teacher so she did ask to finish out the classroom, the school year with her class, which certainly seemed reasonable to me. So she'll start, she finishes on a Friday and she starts with us on Monday. Um, but she has already been in to uh, ask some questions and meet some of the staff that she hadn't met, um, fill out some paperwork, that sort of thing. And we're very much looking forward to having her on board. Yes. Uh, and once she has had a bit of time to settle in, <laughs> I will ask her to attend a, a board meeting. Um, but I don't want to throw that at her her first week, so. Oh, come on. We don't <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did it my first week, but. Um, like, see? see? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you stayed. That's right. Um, but yes, I, I'm very excited to have her on board. I think she's yeah. going to be a really good addition um, to the, the staff. And um, the other candidates that came in for interviews, they were notified? They, everyone has been notified. Okay. Uh, in fact, everyone who applied has been okay. notified. Yep. Yeah. Um, Thank you. They all got letters mm -hmm. short and sweet saying, you know, the usual after a, which was true after a, a you know, long search, um, mm -hmm. careful mm -hmm. consideration, blah, blah. Um, so, yeah, everyone has been notified. Okay, well, I think we all look forward to meeting her. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else that you'd care to mention specifically? Um, I. Reminder that the Pearl Jam concert series kicks off on the uh, 13th of June, and I hope you'll all attend. I brought posters, so you can't forget. And then, of course, <laughs> I brought posters and then had to email Pat today and say, oops, there's a change. Um, it seems that our uh, August musicians uh, had rehearsal last week as usual, and at the end of rehearsal, the lead uh, guitarist announced that he was quitting. So they are oh. canceling their summer tour, but um, I am incredibly grateful. When she called to tell me, uh, the lead singer also called to tell me that she found her own replacement. Um, so they have already made all of the arrangements for us. They've already spoken to the band that'll be taking their place. We have the photo. Um, and we have the photo and everything. It was, you know, because my first thought was, oh God, now I have to find someone to fill in August. And then she said, and I've identified a replacement. <laughs> have we posted a copy of this in this building? Uh, yes. Yep. Okay. A copy of this is up. It's also at the library. It's on the website, et cetera. Mm -hmm. It's on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> soon to be changing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pat, Pat very kindly has, has uh, yeah, something said she tomorrow. would update um, oh. so that the, the new, the August cr uh, information will be correct. Um, but just in case anyone wondered, since we are joking that this is the Friends of Drusilla, series, it turns out I do know one of the members of the band that is replacing the band <laughs> that is coming in August. Um, oh. But anyhow, I was, I was very excited that they found their own replacement. That was lovely. Um, <clears throat> financial, which is on here, um, budget passed. I, if I may, I just wanted to make mention of uh, the involvement of the group of volunteers from Nicholas College. I think we yes. should recognize them and yep. uh, their efforts in helping to uh, disinfecting the keyboards yeah. <laughs> and mice. <laughs> they finished the projects that we had for them and came came up to ask if there was anything else and we went 
kind of need to disinfect the keyboards yes. and mice in the children's department. And they yes. happily Thank disinfected you. every keyboard and mouse in the library. So, so I have a question. Mm -hmm. How often are they cleaned? Um, they are cleaned fairly regularly. What's that mean? Um, my understanding is that George tries to do it once a month, um, oh. which is, I will say, more than most libraries do. Yeah. Um, but we try to do it once a month. It's just one of those to do all 38 public computers in the building. Mm. Plus I think the it should be done years. more than once a month. I, I don't know that it shouldn't be just George, I guess, because his time is so limited mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just think. Well, what would like, your suggestion we, be? Weekly? Is yeah. that often enough? I don't. Know. I mean, I, I can would, ask. I, I can. <laughs> when Lita starts, I can ask that she makes sure because you know yeah. one of the issues is we've got all the children's computers yeah. as well as the adult right. ones. I can certainly add that to closing procedures once I know, a week. I know. I they know they don't want it. Station. I know they you know don't want to do something like, else. Just, like pull a wipe to wipe it off or uh, something. No, oh, that's what we do. We have yeah. we have wipes, yeah. but I yeah. our patrons. Um, I'm I'm. Reasonably sure that our patrons would not all be right. disinfecting and, and I, their I get keyboards. That. I think I would rather have staff you know? doing it more right. than, yeah. than patrons, anyways. I would rather have staff doing yeah, it. Exactly. And I realize I don't want to I mean, add it's, something to the list. It's one of the things, things that also gets done additionally when there is time, opportunity to do it. You yeah. know, it's yeah. it's fairly time consuming. To it is time. I know it is. So. I know. I, I deal with it at my job, and it is extremely time consuming. But I just know mm, so much. It just gets spread. It, perhaps when you next meet with the other library directors, you might ask the question as to how frequently yeah. they're doing that. I am from experience in Connecticut. I can tell you that the answer was we're lucky if we do it once a year. This actually came really? up in Connecticut Ooh. among a, a director's a director's roundtable that someone was talking about in the children's department, and it's yeah, just I would like to see it done regularly. I, I just think that is such an important thing. Like, right. it's not going to kill it. everything. I'll but add it to our closing procedures. Kill some of the things. Um, like, you know, with the understanding that there are going to be days that it just I doesn't know. get done. Right. Right, right. Yeah. Well, I mean, right. maybe there's a, a, a system that you guys can talk about to put in place that will make it easier on everybody. I, the only, really, the only way to do it is to take take disinfectant and wipe yep. and pick up every single keyboard right. and, and mouse. Yep. You know, there's no shortcut for that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but I mean, just like to a sequence of it, maybe ten at, it. ten at a week or yeah. something, yeah. And, and try to rotate yeah. them. Or I, I, I yeah. throwing that out there, not knowing if that's practical or not. But if there is some way of increasing the frequency, I think we'd all feel a little better about that. Yeah, no, uh, whatever I'll add it, it might be. Just areas at a time. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, yep. I'll, I'll add it to closing procedures, and hopefully that'll increase the frequency for you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. All So. Hopefully, everyone will be a little bit healthier. And thanks again to those folks who volunteered from Nichols. And uh, if they're inclined to come back and do the same again, then I certainly, we yeah. certainly would welcome That's them. right. Take the volunteers. Although I think they may have gone home for the summer. Uh, we were actually part of their annual volunteer uh, week at Good. the college. Yep. So Good. it's a yearly event that they come. Okay, well, again, they'd be welcome more than more, more often than on an annual basis if they chose to come back again. But uh, thank you. Uh, was that something, did they approach you to indicate uh, their interest? An email in? was sent out to um, Town Hall as well as to many of the town departments asking if we could use volunteers. Oh. For the and who came up with the idea to do that specific task? We actually had a number of tax, tasks set aside for them, and yep. they, they finished them all. Oh, nice. um, and they came up to us and said, is there anything else? And the staff and I kind of looked at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Jumped on that. Um, well, no, it was actually one of the staff said, it's, you know, it's not a great job, but, yeah. it, you know. And they went, okay. And went around and disinfected all kinds of things. And then decided yes. to, you know, wipe down tables and such. Well, wow, even better. Well, again, thank you. I think thank they you disinfected some of the doorknobs. They were just kind of running around <laughs> It's like I know I know George cleans all of those things daily, but they were they were on a roll. Well, one more time certainly didn't yeah. hurt. Doesn't hurt. Sure. That's right. right. All righty, thank you. Anything else, there, Drusilla, that you care to highlight? No, I don't think so. Um, how about the strategic planning meeting that you went to? Um, it was. Uh, I was actually going to cover that in the the next item, okay. number five, when we talk about the okay. long range plan. I can wait. <laughs> Okay. Um, and I would just like to say, actually, uh, under facility report, uh, Dennis came and 
I couldn't watch because I'm fairly sure the ladders were not being used in an OSHA compliant manner, but he did climb up to the top of the flagpole and put a new light up there. Nice. Um, oh. We have not confirmed that it works yet. Um, and he, it gets because he went up during the day. Yeah. And oh, when it comes okay, on at right, night, it's right, solar right. powered. So, um, yeah. right. But he was actually going to, I spoke to him uh, just before Memorial Day, and he was going to drive by at night when it's, you know, because dark. we leave yeah. right now, we leave and it's still only right. semi dark, so yeah. the lights on. He's going to drive by and make sure that it's working. So okay. That is well, it sounds like we're moving ahead with that anyway, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Thank you. Did you want to uh, go take a look perhaps at some of the up? Well, you did cover upcoming events. Coming uh, events, yeah, we the, have. Uh, Pearl Jam concert specifically. And uh, summer They're reading off. kicks off on the 23rd, 24th, whatever that Monday is. Um, so we are, we're gearing up for, for uh, summer reading. Uh, it's going to be a busy summer. There's a lot going on. So, and the prizes for summer reading have started to come in. So that's also. Oh. <laughs> I noticed we we've have been having fun opening the boxes and going, oh, look at this. Look at this one. <laughs> Next, we have introduction to beekeeping and backyard chicken Chickens. basic. Yes. Is, Mrs. Korch had any influence in uh, scheduling um, those programs? Pat did find me the number of the person who will be speaking about backyard chickens. Oh. So, <laughs> but the, the beekeeping person approached me himself, so. <laughs> Well, I know one of the things that the uh, selectmen have been trying to emphasize under economic development is agriculture. So, well, there you get very small scale agriculture. <laughs> well, and learn all about you chickens could and always babies. scale up. You know, if you get a couple of chickens and then. And we are trying to find someone. Um, we've had a little bit of trouble finding someone, but I know a couple of libraries uh, have done um, apple grafting. So how to graft your own fruit oh. trees, um, and they bring you know the person brings the, the mm -hmm. scions they're called, and you learn how to graft, and then you take home your own apple trees. And I thought that would be kind of fun. So we're working on finding someone with an orchard who feels like coming and doing a class on it. Oh, <laughs> so. that would be interesting. Thank you. Might take us a while, but we're working on it. All right. Budget. Uh, budget passed as presented. Yes, it did. So. That was very handy for me. <laughs> Slide into it the first year. Just kind of, you know. Right. No conflict. It was very nice, I have to say. <laughs> it is. Uh, you had a chance to meet with the new town administrator, Mr. Ruda. I have not. You have not. No. Okay. It's uh, hopefully upcoming. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. I understand that he's... he's sort of going department to department. So. I would think that it's pretty hectic those first few days and the first few weeks as well, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Right. When does, when's his start date? I didn't June think it was first. yet. June 1st. Yeah. Oh, it was? That's my understanding. Oh, I, yeah. I did Greg not finished, think it was. Greg finished May 31st. Oh, all right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, he's so uh, my, understanding, my understanding is that he is still Making I figure rise. I figure town hall comes first, and then we kind of gradually oh. go further afield. <laughs> yes, <I would laughs> sure. Think so. okay. uh, there, now I have two sheets here. One is the budget, and the other is April 2019. Is there something there that you would uh, yeah, bring our attention to? Or, um, attention to? Just the fact that we had 609 active participants in programs in April, which is the nice. same number plus another almost hundred. Um, participating in our, our youth scavenger hunt. Mm -hmm. um, so that was a, it's an amazing number of people for a town this size. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is. And it looks like one of those big ones was that petting, the orchestra petting zoo. Yes, I'm still recovering from that. <laughs> <laughs> Permanent hearing loss due to being in the room for that. Um, but yes, that was very popular. All right. Uh, looks like we mentioned programs and events. Is there any questions or comments in regards to any of the, the items that are presented here? I just don't get a very good. I don't get a printout like it doesn't give me. A Richard, can you pass this over? Yeah, the oh. landscape. Oh. Oh. Right. Right. landscape. Layout, and then yeah, yeah. And I'll explain it to you. That's okay. All that uh, <laughs> okay. How? I'm not very computer. I have to adjust my tool. Okay. All uh, right, 
financial report in terms of FY19 here to date and FY2020 budget update. Well, I mean, 2020 obviously it's just started. Was, we haven't even gotten, I haven't gotten that far yet. Um, but 19, we are actually going to come in under budget, um, partially due to the fact that there was a gap in salaries for both mm -hmm. the director and the youth services. And those mm -hmm. are significant chunks of change. Um, but so we are in very good shape as far as the budget goes. Mm -hmm. Um, there'll be a few bigger invoices coming in in the next couple weeks just because we're doing some year-end purchasing, um, paying for some of the, the things that come due at the end of the fiscal year. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll still be, you know, I'd have to, I'd have to come up and spend $52,000 in the next three weeks, and I'm not quite sure. I Don't can feel do challenged, that. <laughs> yeah, please. I'm not quite sure I can do that. So maybe a um, heavy dose of disinfectant or something like that. <laughs> Actually, I just ordered cleaning supplies today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Any questions regards to the budget as it stands and presented? No? Uh, facility report. I think we already did the flagpole. Mm -hmm. We're waiting for a nice dark day so we can see. Yeah, it's, it's got to, I've got to dry, you know, come in really early one morning. So it's uh, I did want to just go back a bit. Uh, I think I skipped one here. The children's room checkout update. Uh, I was in the library last week. I didn't see that the no, thing was that's, functioning. Um, Sue has been out of the country. For a couple of weeks so that's you know and it's one of those things that that's getting all of the computers where they need to be was a priority mm -hmm. um so we are just getting to that she will be in next week so look we're still that. looking at cw mars is mm -hmm. taking care of that yep, issue they as, will be taking care of it as opposed to bibliotech well i'd rather have it included in the price that we've already paid cw mars rather than paying okay. eighteen hundred dollars to biblioteca so yes and as this has been out for a while i have to ask the question what's your confidence level in terms of their being able to take care of whatever issue there is there um the issue is that the equipment is 10 years old and doesn't work okay. so they're going to be replacing it hardware or software both actually both? it's running windows vista Oh my God! So <laughs> it's, That's right. It's I remember you saying ten that. years old. The software is not updatable on that particular machine because mm -hmm. of the hardware limitations. Mm -hmm. So I have full confidence that CW Mars will get it up and running. Um, and as I said, they'll be in next we'll, week. Will we? We'll need a new computer then. You think? We actually happen to have a CPU that is not being used in the workroom that oh. should meet the requirements. We should mm -hmm. not have to pay for any. Equipment. Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, what is your estimate in terms of when that might be finished? Sue is coming in next week to look at it. Um, I think we'll know more once she's been there. Um, okay. She actually needs to, you know, mm. spend some time cobbling pieces together right. and figuring out which equipment plays nicely with uh, <laughs> each other. I guess I envision as we get into the summer months, the summer re reading program, a little more activity and then uh -huh. into the building. Yep. And she is very aware of that. Um, she also, when she comes in next week, however, uh, the youth services librarian's computer in that office needs windows completely reinstalled okay. so that is clearly the first priority so that lita has a functioning computer when she comes in certainly um, yeah. and then when she's done that she's gonna but she is quite aware of the fact that we'd like to have that up by the time summer reading starts all right good looking forward to that thank you uh, facility report we didn't talk about the parking lot safety barriers and uh, as luck would have it i actually had a thought <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, being a dead you. horse with us, but I can't wait to hear. Uh, <laughs> well, one of the issues that we've been concerned about is plowing, mm -hmm. and whatever we put out there would be subject to whoever's plowing, and yeah. however they might be damaged or it might be damaged. But I notice we have handicapped parking. We have posts, if you will, mm -hmm. that are in place, mm -hmm. and somehow they seem to have survived the winter months for a number with of years. With the caveat that that those spaces do not always get cleared well. Uh, that those are the spaces that okay. do not that get cleared. speaks to <laughs> another problem of all, of all spaces mm -hmm. yeah right. but right. because right. of the yeah. Judy yeah. Sharp has cleared those well out. I kind of took it that somehow that maybe they were being cleared and apparently that not being the case mm -hmm. my thought was and I guess it's <laughs> off the table now so maybe I shouldn't mention it is that just a continuation of some of those posts and we could use them as you could hang plants from them or something to that point, put flags on them or somehow decorate them so that they didn't mm -hmm. look so much as, you know, like a barrier, if you Yeah, will. no, I would be worried that we would have an increase of the problem with spaces not being cleared for okay. us. So do those barriers have to be before the sidewalk? Yes, I think so. Because okay. once someone's on the sidewalk, they're the most vulnerable mm -hmm. as the place. Yeah. Um, maybe 
Uh, the plowing issue is something I know that there's a big to do in town with regards to the highway department and somebody new apparently in, in the offing as far as the new manager of that department. Maybe that's something that could be addressed and that even though it doesn't encompass additional posts, obviously there's a need to address that for those areas that are designated as handicap parking. Yes, and I'm, I'm yeah. quite aware of that, unfortunately, because I didn't come in until the end of February. Right. We only had one big snow. Right. Yeah. It, it only became an apparent that it was an issue right. when mm -hmm. the winter was already over. Right. So. But uh, um, going forward, obviously, obviously we need to yes. have an eye on that, and I know as we're in the month of June, it's hard to think of snowstorms yeah. or we'd rather But no, not certainly that's them. something that is on my radar, always okay. is. Um, but as I said, it's it's hard to address when it's June, as right. you say. So. Oh, all right. Then it, did we have any other thoughts in terms of parking lot safety and not just Drusilla or anyone else? Like there's going to have to be a sacrifice, sacrifice made somewhere if those are put in. A sacrifice made someplace? Someone's going to have to shovel or a spot's not going to get cleaned out. Like it's obviously not a perfect thing where someone's going to have to do a little more or something to... Somewhere, you know, somehow, yes, yeah. something has to happen, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. there's the two things. There's the, <laughs> the issue regards to the handicapped parking and access to, and then obviously if we did put some kind of a barrier in place, the plowing would have to have, plower would have to be a little more finessed around that area. Or a person with a snowblower. Or a person with a snowblower, right? Yeah. So the plowing of the library is done by the town? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the and highway the department. Sidewalks are done by the town, but they're never the twins do not meet at this point. That has been the issue. And the other thing that I think you mentioned in the past, Joyce, is that chipping away as far as the, oh. the uh, curbing, if you will. Really good. And our suspicion is that the plows are having an impact there. And, and I don't know if it's that, and it very well could be, yeah. or is it the quality of the material that was put down is just a tear. You know what I mean? Years ago, you could have. Like I have things from like 1970 in front of my house that have withstand, and then I see That's things right. that have been put out since then right. that have just deteriorated. Right. That the quality of the material is so poor. Well, I think that's part of it, and then if you've got that poor quality in terms of the material, yep. the plow comes along and bingo, you know, chips yeah. are, and yeah. not little bitty chips no. either. We got some pretty significant that's what gouges I, that when we I take noticed. Out. Like yeah. it was just flaking off, like right that's in the parking lot. Like, yeah. It's and that's why I wondered, are these skateboarders or mm -hmm. I didn't know where that was so. coming from. No, we, we did have an issue with skateboarders, but I don't think they would I do haven't that seen one since I've been no. here, so no. No, that, So at, at some point those may actually need to be replaced yeah. if this continues over. Well, I mean I will say that most time. towns have a sidewalk replacement schedule that runs about every ten years. That's fairly mm -hmm. standard, particularly with New England weather. Right. And you get salts yeah. and ice melts and so yeah. on and it, it does affect mm -hmm. the integrity if Dudley has one I'm not aware of it that might be if, if you have a chance to meet with Mr. Rudin perhaps an issue that could be mentioned in terms of you know I don't want to add to his list of things well, to look at. Well, as I discovered that, today, the town's master plan is 20 years old, so um, I think planning in general may need to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good point. So, dude, we need a little bit of an update there as far as long-range planning and a timeline to go along with it, so to speak. Okay. So, uh, again, anyone, any thoughts in terms of what might work as a safety barrier or something that um, doesn't in interfere too much with the plowing and certainly provides access to the building. I think that's going to have to be a conversation with Drusilla and um, either our new administrator, Mr. Ruda, okay. to start with possibly and then he could have some recommendations on going through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just explaining the situation as it is so he is aware of it. Yep. You know, and give some thought. All right, so I think we're going to keep that one, I suspect, on the agenda for the next meeting and perhaps beyond. Um, again, recognizing that there is a need given some past history that we've had. Uh, director's, po we at director's policy review, or have I skipped it? Backing one up, long-range plan. Long-range planning, okay, sorry. <laughs> um, so I did attend a uh, workshop provided by the state on long-range planning um, in Massachusetts, which was very helpful for me since I've done significant long-range planning, but every state has its own sort of requirements. 
Um, the gist of it, and I have confirmed this with, with talking to them individually, and in fact they told me, they had, they had looked at everyone's individual plan that was on file for who had registered to attend. Um, ours is much more complex than it needs to be, the one that we have, so the gist was please make it simpler, it makes their lives easier as well as our lives easier. Um, they did, the reason that I was looking at the master plan today is they did uh, recommend that you attempt to align your library strategic plan with the town master plan. However, the town master plan indicates that uh, the town plans to convene a group of citizens to begin discussing the possibility of building a new library. So I think we are well beyond where the master plan is. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be sort of, I've, I've read it over and kind of gone, yeah, we've, we've moved sort of moved past that so yeah. um, but got some good guidelines for things that they look for in a plan um, I did and I will pass one out to all of you um, there has been a survey at uh, town clerk and the collector's office as well as at the library desk, that, yes. um, for folks to fill out we have gotten some good um, response rates from that um, but if you have not as a board member if you've not filled out survey if you would do so that would be much appreciated carol can fill one out too everybody can fill one out patty can fill one out everybody gets to fill building huh? where are they located in this building they are at the collectors and at the town clerks okay uh what's the end date in terms of the uh, survey um i am hoping to start going through the responses this week um that's my plan and then i was going to leave them out for a full month which would be june 15th mm -hmm. Um, you know, just to give as many people as possible a chance to respond. Mm -hmm. um, let's start. We have a, quite a stack at the circulation desk, so. Mm -hmm. Quite a stack of responses? Of responses, yes. yes. Oh. Yeah, I see them mm -hmm. in the box. Yeah, there's a box and there, and they, uh, they keep the coming in. And I deliberately kept it very short, um, you know, kind of hoping that that would encourage more people to respond, and it seems to, because I see people, you know, waiting to get their holds, and they're kind of mm -hmm. scribbling answers, which is great. Oh, huh. good interesting to see what the responses are and if there's some sort of general consensus regards to an issue or some number of issues um, I did think it was kind of entertaining that two of the things that the, the state you know, referenced as being things that they encourage you to put on your plan if applicable are uh, library construction <laughs> which clearly we we they even let you know the, the presenter said which clearly is not an issue for some of you and uh, programming and making sure that you had at least one program a month for all ages and again we have we have passed that bar so mm -hmm. um, I in that sense I was I was hoping they were going to give me some great ideas for things to include and I went oh, I've already done that we'll, we'll put it in there and just be able to check it off well, right it's nice that you can say that though. I know right. it is it was it was I'm very sure nice I can't. some yeah. of the other librarians there you know could not say that. Right. And, well, and there may be some so. great ideas coming from that yeah. eventually or somewhere down the road as well. <laughs> no, not yet. Um, but so I am, as I said, I'm going to be um, starting to look at surveys this week, um, closing out the survey at the, on June 15th, and then spend a couple of weeks kind of looking through and compiling before starting to organize it into something like a rough draft mm -hmm. um, yeah. based on, yeah, as I said, what the what the state folks are looking for and what sort of best practices as well as what we get in response to I wish you well in collating that because I suspect <laughs> there might be a, a fairly wide range in terms of responses. There I, I, usually I, I, is and there will undoubtedly be at least one person who would like us to be open Sundays. Oh, uh, maybe more oh than let me one. write that down. There's a <laughs> <laughs> maybe more than one. Um, and there will always be, every time I have done a survey, a, a public input, whether survey or in person, in a library, someone has objected to the noise from the children's department. So I'm waiting for that to be part of it as well. No, I think we actually contain it pretty well. Um, well, I, I also good. feel that. You and haven't I have, been there when my grandson's been in the I will also say that one library where I got that complaint, the children's department was on a separate floor from the rest um, of the library and I still got the complaint from the children's <laughs> department was too loud. In regards so. <laughs> to the Sunday issue, I think I may have brought it up at a previous meeting. I, I believe it was the practice, it may still be in Shrewsbury, 
They are open on Sundays. We would need more staff. Yeah. Right. We have well, more staff. Well, what out. they've done is they've actually got, they have local businesses who underwrite the cost mm -hmm. of being yep. open on Sundays. Yep. Are they still doing it in Shrewsbury? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I don't know if we I have the... more businesses in Shrewsbury. <laughs> <laughs> well, say, it's, really true, sure it's, true, it's true, it's true, it's <laughs> true. But you only, you only have, you know, four Sundays a month or five Sundays a month, if you will. So. We have we have significant trouble just making sure that our Saturday hours are covered just because I can't have any part-timers work more than 20 hours right. a week. Right, uh, some issues. And, there, right. you know... I think Richard is just volunteering to be on the <laughs> fundraising committee. Or well, is he work? Is he volunteering to be a staff member for free on Sundays? <laughs> I don't know. What are you? What are, what are the working conditions? I want to know who I'm be working for. Uh, just throwing the possibility out there. Obviously, I, I suspect that when they first proposed that in Shrewsbury, there were some folks that said, "Oh, we can't ask these poor guys to contribute." It. Mm -hmm. There were a list of reasons a mile and a half long as to why it couldn't happen. Uh, but somehow they managed to get past that and they got the thing going. Um, at some point, as the town grows, I think the push is going to be to have more hours and more availability. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that you know, means staffing and along with that administration, mm -hmm. along with that cleaner keyboards or frequency of cleaning and all of the expenses that accrue along with all of those things. But uh, the town is growing. We're over, what, 12,000 people now? How many when the, when the library opened? That was, considerably fewer, I suspect. And, you know, we'll look at the numbers here, 609 total participants, that's a mm -hmm. sizable number of folks. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously yeah, that's do. squeezed or shoehorned into the hours of availability that we have yeah, now. My plan in the future is to ask for additional staff in the budget, um, but we really need additional staff just for the hours that we are open. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're, we're strapped. Um, never mind adding hours. If we're going to add hours, we need more exactly. than just one more person. Well, so. the best of all possible worlds would be more staff and more hours. Uh, our so our Saturdays busy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They do definitely, um, I've been told, and, and I believe it based on experience mm -hmm. elsewhere, that in the summer, Saturdays drop off considerably. Yeah, well but during the school year, Saturdays are, are quite busy. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll we'll be closed as the yes. end of the school year. Yes, yep. Mm -hmm. and Saturdays. Well, that's another thing, too, in terms of availability. If we can maintain that 12 months a year, mm -hmm. uh, it's Saturdays on a 12-month-a-year basis, I think. Right. I think there are some folks who will be disappointed when they find mm -hmm. out that they've gone to the library Saturdays and they don't go on Saturday and yeah. the doors are closed and it's not there. So, again, uh, as the town grows and hopefully town administration and selectmen will and citizens will recognize the value that the library represents and hopefully making that available becomes a priority. End of, okay, end of sermon. Okay, uh, let's see, did we get yet to the director's policy review? No. Did everyone get a copy? No, I don't think so. No, I don't know. I didn't, it, my computer's been odd about attachments, so I couldn't tell if it ended. All right, we not. have one now. This actually isn't that, this it is, is a, fairly a new. This is new, yeah. yes. yes. All right, four is yours. Um, so the only change I have to the policy as it currently is, is that it currently states that requests must be sent in writing to the director, and I would remove that. Um, um, because certainly I know Pat has come in and asked about putting things on the sign. I get phone calls from, from nonprofits, I've gotten a couple, mm -hmm. and to say you have to put it in writing and send it to me as opposed to me being able to say, okay, what's your event? But yeah, couldn't they email good. it to you? Yeah, that's what I've done. Yeah. But I mean, I, I don't see the reasoning for saying it has to be in writing. I mean, if, I, you call me, if you call me up and I then can go online and verify that you have said event. I'm just thinking in terms of something that's taken verbally. Uh, I would say I actually Spelling of names and things. That, it out. This, is, this is what, as I said, yeah. we, had, we had an event a couple of weeks ago. Someone called me. I went onto the yep. organization's website, said there's all the information. Boom, okay. we're good. All right. You know, why, why make them fill out it, an it, additional okay. form when I can verify I guess my concern was that if it was simply a verbal instruction, that that sometimes lends itself to some uncertainty. But if you have something as a resource that you can go back to and verify the information. I mean, I think every, the few things that, that outside organizations have asked us to post, we've always been able to verify, you know, okay. the information about the event anyway. So. 
And as far as the rest of the policy, there is no change indicated. No, we comply with the the town regulations. The town regulations, which I have many copies of. <laughs> Those haven't changed Those since have the changed. June 28, 2016 nope. date. Okay. Um, you know, and certainly I don't want to be promoting political campaigns or private businesses. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And library events take priority. Yes. Yep. Right. You know. Okay, so you, you're uh, recommend requesting, uh, the request must be sent in writing mm -hmm. that that be done. I mean, it's, it's being passed through me anyway, mm -hmm. so I'm, you know, I'm not mm -hmm. relying on anyone else to make sure the information is verifiable. Mm -hmm. Anyone, any questions in regards to that change, proposed change? I don't know. I guess I'm not in agreement with that. I would prefer that they do something in writing so you have something to... I kind of you agree. know who submitted it, when they submitted it, and what they want. I don't know. I just think that, I don't know. Okay, just, you're looking for that little yeah, that additional bit of certainty. Of, that, I mean, uh, God forbid be, there is a typo and it gets posted somewhere or something. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. it could still be a typo. It could <laughs> <laughs> definitely be a typo. Yeah. Yeah. But how about if we say rather than be sent in writing, be provided in writing, they could fill something out at the library, you know, just... Put it yeah, that's fine. Paper just so they're okay. Something. Uh, yeah, see, something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we could make you know keep that copy on file. Should there was yeah. be a question, we could say, Well, this is what you gave us, yeah. and they'll say, Oh, wow, I didn't realize that was wrong. Yeah, and you know, sometimes you know, multiple people from one company might think that they're speaking and. One person thinks one, another thinks right. another. Which is why know. every request comes directly to me. Right. The right. staff, the staff won't take. No, I mean their staff, know. not our staff. But that's why if I get if I get four phone calls from the same organization, my response is I spoke to so and so. Right. And this is what you know we will be doing. It, well, so it I, filters I that out. But take the Joyce's point that does give us to give you, if you will, a little bit. A little bit of extra uh, certainty, if you will. I just think it backs you up. Right. And it's support for you if somebody comes back to complain or anything, you can say, mm, this is what I have, this is what I, instead of you saying, well, I went and I researched it and I looked it up. Right. And you got something wrong. Well, they changed something online after you looked at it. You know what I mean? I mean, I, would, I, 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 I just think it covers us. That's, I mean, that's fine. It's another piece of paper to keep in a file for a week. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> such a pain. I get it. Scan them and throw them out. Then I have the files on my computer. And we only put stuff up for a week anyway, so what's... It, it may only come up as <laughs> no, an issue that's... one out of a thousand times, yep. but it, no, if, no, it's, if it's covered, then it's not even the one out of a thousand. Uh -huh. uh, so, uh, excuse so me, Pat, do we, do we vote on this as a policy change, or mm -hmm. does this have to be carried over for another meeting in order to make that official? As far as I know, I've never heard of the carryover policy. Okay. All right. Then. Uh, this would then read, request must be provided mm -hmm. to the library director. That yeah, an agreement then in terms of the wording? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll, I'll make a motion to um, approve the electronic sign policy with the change of requests must be provided rather than sent, provided in writing to the library director. All right. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion to amend the policy to read request must be provided to the library director and a second. Any discussion? Well, provided in writing. Provided in writing to the library director. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Passed unanimously. Thank you. Thank you, Drusilla. It's good that we revisit these things. This is not one of the older ones, but uh, it is. It's, well, it's one of the ones that's most visible, I think, to the public in terms of that sign being out there. I will say our speaker last night was thrilled to see his, as he put it, my name is in lights. <laughs> 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 <That's> so funny. <laughs> did we have good attendance? We did. We had 13 attend, um, and they all uh, very much enjoyed his presentation. Um, and several of them have told me again today how much they enjoyed his presentation. Uh, and he did volunteer to come back any time. Free of charge. Nice. He did not charge us. So even better yet. Good. Uh, all right. That done. We move on to conversation on DPW and the library trustees. 
at the most recent town meeting, which was that May 20th? Yes. Right, it was on May 20th. There was an article or warrant in there, uh, and the warrant uh, regarding the formation of a Department of Public Works, uh, which was, I'm not sure I'm characterizing this correctly, but was uh, strongly supported by the Board of Selectmen. Uh, it was voted down. Uh, it did include some language pertaining to the library, and Pat uh, was very good in terms of having picked that up, and we weren't quite certain what that was going to mean going forward as far as the library was concerned. What, were the, what was it? I, I wish I'd uh, printed it out because I, I don't have it verbatim. Right. It, yeah, I think it pertained to the uh, services provided to the library. Buildings and, buildings and, buildings and, and, and facilities, yeah. right. Uh, it's something of a moot point at this time right. because it was voted down. Uh, I will say this, however, this is an issue that the selectmen have brought up a number of times. And I know there's an election upcoming and the Board of Selectmen may be changing to some extent in a few days, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's also reasonable to, I think, expect that it may come up yet again. Mm -hmm. Uh, the consolidation, if you will, of several town departments under the heading of Department of Public Works. Uh, whether the wording the next time would be the same as what we last saw in the warrant or not is, I think, very much up in the air. But uh, we might want to pay attention in terms of upcoming town meetings in regards to if, in fact, this issue resurfaces, what, if anything, is mentioned. I still mentioned understand what the issue is, so it's very hard. Well, the issue, the, I think the issue generally is there's the water departments, the sewer departments, the highway yep. department, and what they wanted to do was consolidate. I understand that part right? of it. And the issue pertained to the town buildings and uh, facilities yep. and the maintenance of those and some services provided, and I'm speaking in very general. Yep. general terms if you will okay uh, so how that fell under this particular Department of Public Works apparently was going to be different than as it now handled by the town departments I can explain that a little bit. okay please. Um, the what it stated was that the, uh, the buildings and grounds are under the uh, purview of the Board of Trust Library Board of Trustees so right. the Library Board of T Trustees would need to request that maintenance be done mm -hmm. um, on a regular basis and, and outline basically what maintenance should be done. Okay. Um, and according to Mass General Law, uh, the uh, library trustees are responsible. Uh, the buildings and grounds maintenance mm -hmm. fall under yep. the board of trustees. So that. So if that had passed, we would have had to get the building maintained pretty much because no one would be. No. We would no, have, we have to request. request. As a question, we'd send. That we'd request. immediately send okay. a letter. Uh, outlining exactly what we need to do. And, and I would okay. say that practice in other towns I have worked in has mm -hmm. been for the Board of Trustees to simply say to the Public Works Department, please respond to any requests by the library director yeah. who is acting on our behalf, right. basically. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. yep. that okay. That may be something we'll file away <laughs> for had, future reference. I have had many How close department than now? Well, it's being done now. It's, um, it's, we're not... We don't make, we haven't we don't made have a DPW. Yeah, I know, you know we but. We have separate departments and, and they've always maintained the library. Although, it sounds again, like again, you know, I, I, much of the time have. when I when I call yeah. up and request, so it's, you know, yeah. they. Yeah. Okay. But um, we haven't made requests to them specifically no. as a board. Not that, uh, I board not that I'm aware of. I can't say. I but as, as I said, years, my, but my okay. suggestion would be that should this become an issue in the future, that the board simply send a letter to the right. Department of yep. Public Works stating that the director is yep. acting on their behalf. Yep. Please. All right. Well, thank we'll you for that. We'll follow your cue. Thank, thank you for that. Then when I call up and say, would you right. do something about the, I don't know, the maintenance of the building, they're right. not going, well, you have to wait till your board meeting and have a quorum and all. Yeah. Actually, when a new supervisor comes on board, it may not be a bad idea for us to do that. Sounds right. like a plan. Mm -hmm. But thank you, Drusilla, and thank you, yeah. Pat. And uh, I guess just a heads up for everyone to try and keep an eye mm -hmm down the road to see if this is again an issue and how that may be worded going forward. Um, it, again, it seems to have a life of its own and I suspect it will be on the table at some future date. Yep. Alrighty, um, board member comments and or observations. Harrison, I'm gonna put you up first. How was Pokemon today? Oh yes, how many did you have for Pokemon? I have to put it on the calendar. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can remember properly. 
uh, when it's getting hotter, less kids start showing up, so mm-hmm. it's always unfortunate. But uh, it was. Uh, there were five kids that showed up today. Oh, awesome. <laughs> okay. I realized that we hadn't checked it out today. How long is a Pokemon session? I have an no hour. idea what Pokemon is. It's, it's yeah, an it runs hour. about an hour, really. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, same kids come? Yeah. Basically. Uh, so some kids come throughout the summer. Some only come when it's colder out because mm-hmm. a lot of a lot of the kids. I don't know why. Like just play outside. But mm-hmm. <laughs> strange how that works. I know, what, right? What, what ages are you getting? <laughs> what uh, showing up for Pokemon? What age groups do you get? Uh, I mean, I I don't really. I'm not good at telling age very well, but I think between maybe eight and fourteen. I was going to say that the couple I saw leaving today are maybe like the 11, 12 year old. Yeah. Pre teens? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm Unlike the twins? crew outside the theater at last night, there were, the night before last, there were about 20. They were doing a raid with Pokemon Go. Don't ask me. I had to ask what the heck they were doing. But there were oh, I should have joined in. 20, Pokemon raids are fun. 20, 20 grown men standing around in the parking lot on their phones. <laughs> wow. Like, what are you all doing? That's, that's the way you catch a legendary Pokemon. Really? <laughs> okay. Well, this has been very educational. Yeah. I know all. I Just have the knowledge. That's right. Knew, knew nothing about Pokemon, and now I know. I know. And now I know I knew nothing about Pokemon. Okay. Anything else you wanted to add, Harrison? Um, you've been doing this for a while, haven't you? I think it's been a the, the Pokemon group. Yeah. Uh, I th- yeah. I, I think I started 2015, but that was only like when two kids started showing up. But mm-hmm. after. I think it was like in 2017 when a lot more people started showing up. Mm-hmm. I wonder why. I don't know. Like the word might have Harrison was like there and the word got out. Yeah. <laughs> like something happened in the. I don't know, but there was a period where, where it stopped for a little bit, and after it started up again, that's when people started showing up. So probably just people heard about it that time. I was going to say a little more promotion around it. Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. All right. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Was there anything else that you wanted to say? Uh, I, I'm actually just kind of interested in what stuff they're going to have for the, the, kids prizes this year. I was like, we have a Pokemon themed basket. Oh, that, that, that is good. Because oh. I was going to say, po- like, I remember <laughs> the past three years, Pokemon stuff has always been the big draw. We have a Pokemon the themed. In fact, the pieces, the, the the two pieces just came in. So we're waiting for the third piece of the Pokemon basket, but Mm -hmm. there will be. And we have quite a few Star Wars themed things since the the theme for summer reading is is sort of galaxies and outer space. Uh So, um, and we do have some very cool prizes for adults as well. I will say, Um, if you want a plush throw with the solar system on it, (laughs) the staff were all petting them today. Um, We have for the teens, um, and these are just the things that I can think of because they've just come in. Uh, we had a, uh, a lamp, a color-changing LED lamp that's actually the moon, mm-hmm. and it sits on a little stand, and so everybody was playing with that today. <laughs> um, we have some cool, we had a, a toys for some of the little ones come in today. We have a, a rocket ship with little astronaut figures that's nice. designed for, for little ones. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we'll have a couple of themed baskets. So we'll have a Pokemon basket, um, we will have a, a unicorn-themed basket for the girls. Um, and we'll also have, I think, a, a princess-themed basket. Um, I know in the already in the children's room set aside or is a Star Wars Monopoly. Um, so there'll be some cool things this year. Wow. We had fun choosing them. So. That was like quite a collection. All right. Anything else, Harrison? Uh, I think that's about it. Thank you. Joyce? No, I don't have anything. I don't know. Pat, did we talk about the thing that we went to? No. Pat and I went to a um, advocacy training put out by the library. Mm-hmm. Um, it was, I thought it was informative. It yeah. was good. Mm-hmm. It was, it was a good it was day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There were a, a few people on a panel there who um, spoke about. Um, they were just in the process of construction, mm-hmm. and I could feel their pain. <laughs> 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 and knowing they had to go. You know, to the public to ask for fundraising, Money, yeah. and some of the the things people were saying to them were the same things that we had heard back some years ago, and you know what we needed to do to. Um, uh, we had a lot of support, but we needed more, and to convince people that a library, in fact, 
was important to the community uh, because the library serves as a community center, and that's that's pretty much what they said. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, there were folks there. Um, Ann Lisi was there. She's um, she was, has been head of the uh, Greater Worcester Community Foundation for years now, and she's uh, she's just retired. And uh, she talked a bit about you know, endowment. And, you know. So it, it was it was it was a good afternoon. Really well rounded. Yeah, we met some people there. And, uh, Networking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, thank you for your attendance of that. Stephanie. Oh, I. Oh, I'm sorry. I. I, was, I, I wanted. Just to kind of rolled <laughs> seamlessly into into your comments, and I thought, all right. I, first of all, maybe going back to Joyce and see if she had anything else. No, I'm all done. All right, Pat. I'm sorry. Richard, Pat. I wanted to thank you uh, so very much for the th oh three and God, a half yes, years that it's you your have last. served uh, <laughs> on the board. Um, you came oh, on as uh, you know, as Stephanie did. Uh, as an appointee, and um, you were welcome then, and to come on and uh, uh, and finally um, agree to be chair <laughs> of the board. That's uh, really you know, <laughs> all right. It, 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 it's challenging. There's there's a lot to be done. Um, you know, people don't always realize it, uh, but um, you've done a great job. Um, I'm sure your guidance and, and good sense. Um, so thank you. Yes, well, thank I thank you, and uh, I thank you even more for your help and assistance as the long, longest tenured member of this board, and uh, your experience. And you know, you've mentioned any number of times. You know, they're going back to the days when the first bricks were probably delivered. Um, that knowledge that you've acquired over the years has served you and has served this board and this town very well. And uh, we all owe you a, a great, great debt of gratitude for keeping the, the focus, if you will, and making this the cultural center, I think you referred to it as, um, of the community, if you will, the, the cultural venue of the community, and uh, the place that obviously is open to all generations, and it's not specific to any one group. It is for everyone, including those Pokemon aficionados, whoever they are. And I don't count myself among them, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> we'll get you there. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. We'll have a little extra time. Yeah. 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 You're have time, Richard. But, uh, well, maybe not. I'm not sure about that. We'll have to see how that all works out. But uh, thank you, and uh, I guess I'm going to go on with my comment. I uh, wanted to thank you all. Uh, all of you, or many of you, I'm sure, know that in the town is a struggle in terms of trying to collect enough people on a particular board or committee just to have a quorum and getting people to take those positions has been a struggle that the selectmen have mentioned any number of times and I think it's still ongoing. I don't think it's gotten any better. Uh, this board has never lacked for candidates uh, and excellent uh, options and opportunities, uh, an embarrassment of riches, if you will, compared to the others. Uh, when we've had vacancies, we've had multiple applicants for the positions, and even those applicants, who unfortunately, we've been unable to bring on board, have certainly offered ideas and suggestions and made comments in the interview process that I think have enhanced the, the board as a whole. And uh, again, it's a testimony to, I think, the standing that the library has in the community and Obviously, with the new director on board, the new child, children's librarian coming on board, that standing excitement enthusiasm is building yet again, and hopefully to continue. Mm -hmm. Thank you all. Stephanie? Um, I don't have much, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we do have uh, one other. Uh, first of all, next meeting is June 25th. And again, that will be after the election. So those of you that are going to be elected, hopefully, or those that are standing for election, remember to be sworn in so that you are uh, duly on board for that meeting so you can, again, participate. Mm -hmm. uh, we would now adjourn. Patty, I'm not chasing you out. It sounds like it. Don't